Boom. All right, so those people we at right now who went for those don't know you if they don't. So let's switch with Don Shadow. We're sitting with King Don Mo. That's a nice shit that we're with. That's what we're going to do right here. In the secret location. Yeah. Chopping it up real quick. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bet, bet. All right, so when it come to you, that's why you done lived up here like your whole life in a sense. Shit, what's the matter, right shit? Yeah, I moved, like, all right. We stayed in Fairwood when we were little, when I was little. My grandma got, like, evicted out of Fairwood at her spot and got down on uh, Dukes. She, she left her spot and we moved on 17 out there in Highland Woods. And got them, I stayed out there about 10 until I was about 10. And I came back to the hood after my mom, my mama passed when I was 10 and 6. So that's when I came back to the hood and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. From you just doing like living life until then, like just living life, how'd you find the music? When did the music come into play? Shit, my daddy did music, my mama did it. Shit, I used to go to church, you feel me? I used to sing in the church and all. Uh, I knew a lot of my partners that passed away. So mm -hmm. I used to sing at their funeral and shit. I sing at their funeral. Like, I'm known for singing even in middle school and all. Uh, since middle school, really, that when I started showing me off, really, like out here in the, in the, in the city and yeah. shit, and I can sing. Like, I can sing for real. But if you went to church, you know me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you went to church, you know me. Real, real. Do you think if you didn't go to church that you would still be trying to, like, pursuing the singing you want to say or even find yeah, it? Yeah, because really, my, my daddy know, my daddy know been doing, been doing music, you feel me? My daddy, my daddy, my uncle, his partners, you know, niggas out the hood, niggas like overgrind. Shout out to R.P. Bree, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Free caution too, by the way. Yeah. Got, uh, you know. But been doing music, so it always been around us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My daddy used to sing to my mama womb, he told me when he was little, you yeah. feel me? When I was little and shit. So yeah, yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. I said, I always been around. I could have been recording shit, all that shit. Been, you know what I'm saying? Been doing that, man. Alright, so when did you want to like start taking it to the point where you wanted to start releasing music or just like displaying it to the public? Like, was you always confident about it to where you can just do it out of nowhere? And just... Yeah, this is the crazy thing though. It's harder for me to have a conversation before me performing. Like, so shit, yeah, I always, since I was little, like, like I say, Mom Dukes used to always have me like with her in her room. Oh, try to sing this. My daddy, try to sing this. Sing this. Show your grandma you can do this. Show your grandma you can do this. So it was never really nah. I ain't, nah. But I really had a harder time communicating with folks like just regular talking. Like I'd rather sing in front of a thousand million people. I just always just like, man, I gotta do this. This is what I like to do. Like, ain't nothing really interesting me. I, I just hoop a little bit, but shit, I ain't the best hooper like that. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't do that tall neither, shit. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, so you never like, seen like the church being your ceiling or whatnot? No, hell no. Like I said, I used to go to school. I used to me and my partners we used to make music. You know, we got we got songs and shit. You know what I'm saying? That like, was coming out. That like came. You know what I'm saying? Came out that motherfucker. With, Want to see us do, you know what I'm saying? So, nah, the ceiling ain't, the ceiling ain't no higher than what you built. You feel me? That's how I look at it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not lying about that. So, when it comes to you and your sound right now, because right now you can see, like, this your first video you about to put out too, isn't it? Or uh, I, had, I had videos in the past, but certain little shit happened, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We ain't gonna really speak about it. You know, everything good now, everything yeah. in motion, so. You know, I had a video, but this would be my first one coming back. This is like my comeback video, basically. All right, all right. So, you know, like, with this, you know, you know, I had to put a lot of thought into it to where, like, I really got to grab people's attention because, you know, when you already been out and motherfuckers fuck with you, then you yeah. start, and it'll been years. Mm. Motherfuckers ain't heard me. All I do, I might put out some shit, and I, and I never put that out because I, you yeah. know, it was up to a point where, like, I had to think of myself, like, shit, think of myself, like, damn, is you gonna, really going to do it? Or you just gonna leave that shit alone. You know, shit, certain situations happen in your life and shit like that, but you gotta be the one that wanna put persevere through that shit. You feel me? You gotta keep going. So, shit. I was tripping, really, and then I just, it just snapped to me one day. I say, shit, all the little ATK, all the little cousin, little jock, and all them boys doing anything. I say, man. Boy, looking good. I said, man, let me get back on my shit, man. These little niggas jumping right now. I said, I'm fucking yeah. with my little nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah. And then my big brother Gutter, he just coming home, you know what I'm saying? He doing his thing too. Goddamn shit. Everybody was just doing, doing, you know what I'm saying? Actually, everything that we were talking about, we actually stopped putting forth and putting the effort and working on that shit, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, goddamn, shout out to them boys as well. Goddamn, we just, we just doing our thing right now, shit. Them boys, at me up. Them boys put me back in the game. Hell yeah. 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 Yeah.
even right now we're pushing forward like in the city on the music scene though why do you think some people like well first i'm actually do you classify what they're doing now with the rap band and like sort of thing like would you classify them as singers or like do you even harp on what you're doing is not singing, it's just melodic. Oh, or... nah, you know, nah, man. You know, I respect what a nigga got going on. Whatever you, you know what I'm saying, get your own flavor, whatever, you know. I did that just me. I'm just mm -hmm. a person that I can do this on beat, on the piano. Mm -hmm. I can do this shit anyway, bro. Yeah. You feel me? I, <laughs> yeah. That's just me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't knock the next man for how they rock and how they do the thing shit. If it works for them shit, that's how you do it. Yeah, everybody got their own method. Everybody yeah. got their own swag and some shit. I respect the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it, do you? Yeah. And but with a nigga high nigga sound, what is he saying? Like, what is he delivering a message to you? Or is he, do, he just telling you bullshit? But yeah. I can tell you, I'm dripping in all this shit and be lying to you. But I can tell you what I done been through. I done been doing this, doing that, and damn, I can see that. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, it's all on how you want to make you build your own following, how you want motherfuckers to respect you. You want people to respect you for this bullshit, you want people to respect you for this real shit. It's on you. It's two, two ways. It ain't nothing but some fake shit or some real shit. Which one you <laughs> see? Yeah. And do you feel like putting most of your personal life in the music is like, it gives you that pro to actually relate more to your audience or whatnot? Like, that's what's your core audience, you feel like people who can relate to your music? Yeah, I mean, shit. You, yeah, basically, you can say, if you ain't been through it, you gonna know what you can't know what I'm talking about. You ain't gonna know what I'm talking about. They can yeah. down, you know? That's crazy. That's like, that's all the motherfucker can tell you. Like, they never felt what you been through. It's a difference when you can feel it. Motherfucker mm -hmm. listen to certain people, you know what I'm saying? Because the shit that they talking about, they done been through. And it can help them get through it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I ain't always just saying I'm just always a that type of, you know what I'm saying, artist where I just make sad songs. Nah, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. You know, it's just certain yeah. occasions. I done been through a lot. I done been happy, I done been sad, broke, getting yeah. money, all that. So shit, you know? Yeah. So what inspires you to actually like get in the studio and like put the music out there or even like, you know, preview some music and tease it? Got down. Like I said, everybody just been doing their thing. The session going crazy. Damn, my session going crazy. <laughs> you feel me? Shout out QT, man. Real shit, man. That shit just been going those. Yeah, man. You know, just trying to got now do something, be better. You know what I'm saying? Another thing I want to say, we not a game. We do do music. Motherfucker be a certain shit. Mr. some screw with other shit. That ain't even what it is. We do music, my name. You feel me? So, like I said, we just going crazy. We going up. I just see bigger and better things throughout the years, man. That's all I 